Welcome to the third part in the tutorial series of the action game system for Unity 3D. In this tutorial we will be creating a new system with a model and a view. Um, in the first two tutorials we called uh, them model and views but actually they were not using uh, the base system of AGS. Um, so uh, the system we will be creating um, will give a, a pressure plate type functionality for the player so that when uh, the player steps on it uh, something will happen. Um, so we can start by creating something. Um, yeah, let's do a simple cube. Um, which will uh, be the pressure plate. Pressure plate. Uh, we like that, perhaps. Uh, and the character in uh, this example series uh, is using a character controller so he can step up on uh, stuff like that. Uh, so um, mm, 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 mm. He, the, the box obviously need uh, the normal box collider so we need to define another uh, box collider that is set as a trigger and we move that up a bit. You can see that. Uh, so it will trigger when the player is on top of the box. I can make it a little bit smaller. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, on this pressure plate here, we will then um, add the pressure plate view. But first, we will. I have a folder here, uh, system example, and we will start with the model. So that should be called a pressure, I can't even spell pressure, pressure plate. And then we also need the pressure plate view. But this, as in previous videos, we'll start with a data model. Um, and this is not the mono behavior. What it is is that it's uh, an action model, and uh, that is found in the AGS dot core dot systems dot base system. And we also need AGS, oh, sorry, using ags.core.classes.action properties. This uh, pressure plate will simply have an action property of type pool that says whether the pressure plate is pressured or not. So public uh, action property of type pool. Uh, Let's call this is pressured. And uh, we don't need anything else actually, so we need we do the constructor public pressure plate in uh, which we create a new instance of is pressure new action property of type pool. And the last thing we need in this model is some a function that can uh, change the value of its pressure. So we call this public void uh, set pressure, perhaps, set pressure pool value. 
and um, here we do is pressured dot value equals to value this is pretty similar um, to the previous tutorial where we set the timer to be enabled or not or whatever um, so we're ready for the pressure plate view and here we will need uh, unity engine yeah we do we don't need collections we need systems and we need using ags.core classes action properties of course and then we need using ags core systems based system and um, I think we will need another one we will be uh, setting up a trigger with uh, the player so we need uh, a reference to the player base view which we will find in AGS core systems character system and I think we're ready now so uh, for AGS views, um, we can use mono behaviors, but uh, the game manager uh, will automatic automatically uh, call uh, certain functions uh, upon start. So this is an action view. Um, and now we get an error here because it will say that we do not implement the inherited abstract method member action view initialize view which will be called by the game manager so let's do that public void initialize view and in this method Oh, yeah, I forgot the override, I think. Yeah. And, um, oh, sorry, I forgot also to declare the model. So, public, um, what we call it, public pressure plate. And this can be called the same pressure plate. And the pressure plate, pressure plate equals to a new pressure plate. And um, there are three methods uh, that the game manager uses. Uh, the first one is the initialize view, and the second one is uh, the solve model dependencies. Um, and each view uh, is responsible for for um, calling this function when whenever creating a new model. So solve model dependencies with pressure plate. Um, we don't have any model dependencies here, but if we would, we would need to override the solve model dependencies method also uh, and set up. The dependencies but here we need to override this third method wide initialize model and here we get an action model which in this case we know it will be the pressure plate um, Uh, we know it will be the pressure plate, um, but if there were inheritance in involved, uh, parents or children might not know exactly what it is. So here we go. Uh, now we need to set up trigger functionality for the player. And we start by creating a new action of type player base view and uh, player base view will um, be recognized by any child 
of a player base view and let's call it uh, is pressured and we define this um, as an anonymous method um, that we assign to this action delegate so here we will get the player view actually again we won't need it but if we would need to do something with the player when it's uh, triggered uh, we could here but for this case we will simply do um, a pressure plate dot is pressured equals to dot value equals to true and um, and here's where the magic happened. Oh, I forgot one using. Uh, we will be needing the mono extensions also of AGS. So using AGS core uh, classes mono extensions. Mm, there is an extension method for game object in AGS, and I will show it here. Game object dot uh, trigger on trigger action enter with which takes a generic action as a parameter and that is exactly what we defined uh, or declared above here so on tr trigger enter action with is pressured And now what will happen here is that uh, this function here will set up a new component on the game object which will uh, detect collisions only or triggers in this uh, example only with uh, anything that is a player base view or a shell of it. So let's copy this and create also the exit trigger exit method so uh, is pressured we can call this not pressured mm, where we set the value to false and um, we need to do on trigger action exit with and um, yeah that should be it i think let's do a debug log somewhere uh, we can do it here um, no it's uh, it's more fun to do it here so we can also set up uh, a subscription to the value of pressure plate so pressure plate dot is pressured on value change plus equals to sender and is pressured and, and here we do debug dot log is pressured value so Hopefully this will work now. Sorry, there is something fishy here. Um, did we use that? Oh, sorry. Uh, the action here is called is pressured. Uh, whatever. Is pressured param. So uh, there we go, and now we can test it. There's the pressure plate, and we simply add the pressure plate U, and uh, hopefully everything will work now. Let's clear the log. True, now we step on it one falls whenever we step off yeah 
that's it for the new system tutorial thank you for watching